Uh, we're blessed to be here. Just another part of the team. Nothing, nothing special. I'd rather them put janitor on my title than than uh, than director. Um, you know, this is an unusual day for me because I normally never speak without having a script wrote or notes wrote out. Now, Terry, she can do that, but I can't. Um, but I, I just wanted whatever we said today to be from the heart and not scripted. You know, for 25 years now, we've carried hope all over this country and in many other countries, uh, 15 other countries, in fact. We've carried um, millions of pounds of relief supplies to victims who have lost absolutely everything they've ever had, blessing buckets and food and water and paper products. We've carried building material all over this country to help restore and rebuild new homes for families who have lost absolutely everything with no way to rebuild on their own. We've carried equipment and chainsaws and volunteers to cut trees and move debris and shovel mud and muck out of people's homes where have been flooded or devastated by a tornado. Uh, a hurricane or, or an earthquake or a wildfire. And there's a few key components that make that possible. And one uh, is, is people who give financially, who give of their treasures so that we're able to do that. <coughs> Two is the people who give of themselves, their time, their energy, and their effort to go out and spend weeks at a time sleeping on an air mattress, working 12, 13 hour days, to try to help those in need that volunteer and give their time. But none, absolutely none of that could happen if it wasn't for the equipment, the trucks, the trailers that carry all those tools and all those supplies and carry the needed equipment to do those jobs. None of that would be possible. Three, two, one, and on one, they're gonna cut the ribbon. Let me get out of the way. Three, two, one.